What's going on guys? It's Zach, you're watching another episode of Wet That Line. In this episode, I'm gonna be going over the dropper loop. Let's just get straight into it. Now, for you guys that don't fish all the time, this is a perfect tutorial for you guys. Or if you're just getting into it, or, or whatever the case is, you, you haven't fished for the, the deep stuff, uh, perfect opportunity to get used to it here. And for you guys that are tired of asking everyone out on the boat to help them out, and you just wanna be able to start setting up in the middle of the day, your line broke, now it's time to make a new one, here you go. You put your, your weight at the end here, just like that. You're gonna make just a basic fisherman's knot. Just twist it a few times, put the tag in through the loop, put that tag in through that next loop that you made, and just pull it all tight. Boom, just a basic one like that. But to make the dropper loop, what you're gonna do for rock fishing, you're, you can add two, two hooks to your line, that way you got a better chance of getting your limits and the amount of time you're on the boat. Um, the boat trip's only so long and the amount of time you can fish is only so long, so you want to add two of these. First one I'd do is probably about three feet off of the bottom. Yeah, about, about three feet off the bottom and then maybe two more feet higher than that. That way you got two that are at a nice height. So the first thing you're going to do, you take your line and you're going to make a loop, just like that. Okay, you're going to make a loop. Now, depending on how long your loop is, is going to be how how long how, how far out your hook is going to be from your line you want something about this size here all right so you're going to take them in your fingers just like this this side with the two sides here i'm just going to do a small twist one two three four bring this side back through and actually what i do i put it in my tongue like that i make sure that these sides here are not going to get twisted up otherwise it won't work and then you just cinch it down like that. And then you got a nice dropper loop, just like that. It'll shorten up a little bit because of the twists. And if your dropper loop isn't as long as you'd like it to be, one trick that you can do is come in, clip one of the sides of the loop, and now you can have an even longer one and just attach your hook to the end of it like this. So the way that you're gonna attach your hook is you take the loop, you put this through the eye of the hook with your hook facing up and then you bring this through the hook just like or through the, the loop just like that put that tip of the hook through the loop and then you'll cinch it down and then it'll sit there like that okay but if you cut it you can just do a basic fisherman's knot and it'll be at the very end so you could just attach a basic fisherman's knot and it'll be way out there like that if you're going for those really big rock fish, you're gonna put a whole squid on. I'd suggest like a, a size eight glow tip, a glow tail hook. Uh, if you're going for smaller stuff, sculpin or um, white fish or anything like that, you can go with the smaller hook. Those fish at the bottom are not line shy, they're not hook shy, they're just seeing a meal and they're gonna go for it. So um, I'd get a good variety of hooks. One last tip for the dropper loop. One thing you can do if you're going out with someone who's new or young, um, you can have, and you're helping them out, you can add something like this where you've got it about like a foot long like this and add a swivel to the end and just have this, this last piece, maybe like 12 pound mono or something real small, uh, you know, over 10 pounds, but less than your main line. So if you got 40 pound mono, put like 12 pound mono. And that way, if they get hooked up on the bottom, they can just break it off and they don't lose all their hooks and everything. You just add another one of these to it that you already have in the tackle box. And so it's just one knot versus the bottom knot plus the hooks and the dropper loops. So just as a tip to keep people going quicker, for you guys that are watching right now at this time of the year, thank you guys. It's a slow season. Not many people are watching fishing videos because the fishing season's not open. I can go out and do some uh, uh, fresh water and pier and surf fishing stuff. Whatever you guys want to see, put in the comments. Hit that like, hit the subscribe. I appreciate all of the support. I did start a Patreon. You can go on there and help buy a coffee for me once a month, five bucks. Just help out the channel. It'll go towards gear. Like you can see, we got we, we're we're expanding. I got the 360 camera right here. Um, 
and it, it only is so that we can better the content for you guys and I, I really do appreciate it. If you guys don't wanna do the monthly thing and you wanna stay on YouTube, go ahead and leave a super thanks. You can donate a little bit of money, buy me that cup of coffee, I really appreciate it. I'll see you out there and until next time, let's go with that line.